canine parvovirus is a highly contagious virus that attacks rapidly dividing cells in the dog's body, most commonly resulting in vomiting and diarrhea, with an outcome that can be fatal. The virus can affect all dogs, but unvaccinated dogs and young puppies are the most at risk. Canine parvovirus is endemic in many environments and can be carried by non-affected hosts, such as wildlife, contributing to spread of disease, but risk of infection is most likely from virus particles shed by other domestic dogs. The virus is spread by direct dog-to-dog -dog contact and by contact with contaminated kennel surfaces, food and water bowls, collars and leashes, and the hands and clothing of people who handle infected dogs. As a non-enveloped single-strand DNA virus, canine parvovirus is extremely resistant to pH and temperature changes and most disinfectants. It can remain viable for more than one year. There are three main subtypes of canine parvovirus that have been identified since its discovery in 1978 as causing severe disease in dogs. Thankfully, it appears that the current vaccines for canine parvovirus remain effective in most dogs. Parvovirus initially replicates in oropharyngeal and mesenteric lymph nodes, entering a cell by binding to a viral protein receptor on the surface of the cell. The parvovirus enters the cell, hijacking the cell's metabolism. In dogs, parvovirus then spreads to rapidly dividing cells in the gastrointestinal tract, bone marrow, and lymphoid tissue. In puppies, it can also infect dividing cardiac myocytes. But most commonly, it produces clinical signs due to infection of the gastrointestinal tract, where the virus invades the rapidly dividing cells of the crypts of the intestinal villi. These cells are important because they fuel the active self-renewal of the epithelium. So as the epithelial cells erode, there are no cells to replace them. The result is severe intestinal damage with blunting of the villi, loss of intestinal absorption, loss of intestinal barrier function, gastrointestinal bleeding, and dehydration, potentially leading to hypovolemic shock and sepsis. In addition to the gastrointestinal effects, the viral attack on the bone marrow leads to destruction of young immune cells. This decreases the body's defense against secondary infections and can lead to sepsis. Canine parvovirus is highly contagious. Within three days of infection, dogs can shed virus in their feces, with peak shedding occurring four to seven days post-infection. Infected dogs produce vast numbers of viruses that are highly resistant to environmental decontamination and can remain viable for more than one year. So, eradication of the virus is very difficult because of these important factors. Environmental stability, wildlife carriers, and insufficient vaccine coverage. The huge numbers of virus produced by an infected dog and the hardiness of the virus are important reasons that outbreaks of canine parvovirus continue to occur, despite effective vaccines that are part of any core vaccination program. An important factor predisposing dogs to canine parvovirus disease is immunization failure due to vaccine interference by maternally derived antibodies. Puppies receive maternal antibodies with colostrum from their mother. While those antibodies can protect young puppies against disease, they can also impede a response to vaccination. The chart shows high levels of antibodies that puppies obtain from their mother's milk after birth. As the puppies get older, those maternal antibodies decline. The risk of infection and disease can increase if those antibodies decline below the protective level. The puppy's own antibodies then start to rise after the vaccination protocol has begun but there is a potential danger zone after the maternal antibodies have declined, but before vaccination has had time to be protective. Other causes of parvovirus outbreaks include non-vaccinated dogs, incomplete vaccination series, immunosuppression, or genetic non-responders. Treatment of sick dogs should begin immediately on diagnosis. Treatment consists primarily of intensive care to combat dehydration by replacing electrolyte protein, and fluid losses, controlling vomiting and diarrhea, and preventing secondary infections. Dogs that recover from the disease or that are protected through vaccination have an immune response that produces antibodies that bind and inactivate viruses. There is a need for a novel treatment approach that could help save dogs' lives and also reduce the need for intensive care and isolation. 
Many drugs being developed for human medicine are based on monoclonal antibodies. The new treatment paradigm for parvovirus, based on targeted monoclonal antibodies, could offer the potential for improved outcomes for infected dogs. In the meantime, canine parvovirus is best prevented through vaccination. Elanco is a leading vaccine manufacturer, providing a broad range of vaccines, including those proven to protect against canine parvovirus.